Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Blammo, today we are still working on the catchphrase. Catchphrase! Um, today we're, we're looking at what I think might be an actual KN95 that is USA made. What? I know. I uh, recently released a KN95. I was like, we're the only USA made KN95. And I think I was wrong. I think the good folks at BNX have done it before me. My apologies to y'all. Because they're in Texas, aren't they? I'm going to open up this, this bag and get it in the clamper and stop yapping. Um, and I'll tell you why this is an actual KN95 mask. I'm very excited as, as, as witnesses who were around me at the time last night uh, when I saw this, this guy come through, I was like, oh my God, I think this is a real KN95 mask, which you just, you just don't find nowadays. You know, it's just, you just don't have the good stuff anymore. Just kidding. It's a new standard. All right, uh, this is a PFE machine, a particulate filtration efficiency machine. My face is smaller than normal. Uh, <laughs> if you want to find out more about how this machine works, um, check out a link there. We're basically doing the uh, N95 test, which is a, almost exactly the same as the KN95 test. So what we're doing for you, the viewers at home, or you know wherever you happen to be with the, your screens, uh, we're, we're trying to test masks so that you can figure out if they are safe to use. All right, let's look at this uh, listing here. Just purchased this on Amazon. You can get it in black, you can get it in white, and it's manufactured in the USA. BNX converting? What are you converting? But it looks like a quality mask from what I can tell. Let's talk about why it's a KN95 mask. So I'm actually gonna set this one aside and use it as an example, because I'm always, I have this one here, which is ours. <laughs> And I just seems self-serving to continually use ours as an example, so I like this. Um, so you kind of need three things. You need to have the manufacturer name, which they have, just emblazoned on the top, BNX. That's to say uh, the, the standard GB2626-2019, CAN95, um, and, uh, and that's it. And they're doing extra bonus. They're putting the lot number on there. What is a lot number, you ask? That's... Um, we do lot numbers by, by shift, so every shift we have a different lot number. That way, if there's ever an issue with a mask, we can trace it back to the materials that were used uh, and if there was any problems with that particular mask. So having the lot number on is really important uh, for manufacturing, uh, but honestly is, is missed in a lot of CAN95 masks. So crazy they're putting on every single mask. BNX is out there. Wait, let's not celebrate yet. I haven't looked at the machine. Let's talk about the actual mask. Let's put it on. Getting a slight uh, like plasticky smell here. Um, I'm gonna call this smell, because uh, they're in Texas, a brand new HEB shopping bag. Okay? Slight, 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 slight plasticky smell. Not, not offensive at all. In fact, we just started making KN95s and we put a, a piece of nose foam on the inside to help with the fit. And actually, ours smell worse than this, so. Good job, guys. Um, the, oh man, I didn't even see this. They're using this like, uh, this uh, Sonic weld that just looks insane. Look at how strong that is. Holy cow. I mean, you can pull it apart. I mean, you know, given enough for us, but that is, that is good. That's solid. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and the nose wire is excellent as well. I'm so glad that BNX exists. I don't know you guys, it's weird. We're in Texas. Hit me up, bro. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's great that they exist um, and uh, to have the supply chain resiliency here in not just the United States, but in Texas. But maybe I'm speaking too soon because I don't even know what the test is done. So let's head on over to the PFE machine. It's very far and see what the results are. Oh, come on, man. No, no. Come on. Seriously? Oh. That is so frustrating. I was pumping them up and they, ah. Uh. So for the people who are joining us for the first time, the 95 in KN95 means 95%. And what you want to see is that number there to say 95, but it says 92, which I was never really good at math, 
but I think it's three less than 95. Oh man, that is really frustrating. Now, here's a couple caveats. When you do these types of tests, I'm just doing a quick two minute test and then I'm moving on to the next mask because guess what? This is actually not what I do for a living. Um, typically you would touch, test a batch of uh, 20 or so and then um, you would average those results. That is pretty low, um, but it's not insanely low. So it's conceivable that uh, the fabric is good uh, and just there were some anomalies in the tests. That said, I, I did just, just, just before this uh, test, because we just calibrated the machine, this is the first test of the day, the first official one that we're recording, um, and the mask that I used to calibrate happens to be a mask that's sitting right next to me here, and I'm not gonna promote that mask, but it just did 99%. Uh, so <laughs> I, uh, I think the machine's probably correct, uh, and I think that there's probably, fortunately, they have the lot number on there, so they can trace it back. Uh, E213912, trace it back, guys, and, and figure out what happened there. And uh, BNX, if you're listening, uh, send me some more masks, and I will test them on my machine. Uh, how did it do on breathability? Uh, 123. 123 breathability. Mm. Ah, great breathability. Um, Got to work on that efficiency though. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, this is the, you know, if you're just joining me for the first time, this is obviously the Lloyd reacts to can 95 mask results, which is super niche. But uh, if you're into it, you're into it. So I will catch you on that next test.